this is James here with the Oracle Outlook for the week starting October the 14th, 2019. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining me for this week's video reading. This week I wanted to continue working with Lenormand and I also wanted to go old school and I wanted to go retro. Well, what does that mean you're probably asking? It means that I wanted to work with one of my older layouts, my favorite, with Lenormand, and that is the old standard, the line of five. So that's going to be the spread I'm working with this week. And to assist me with that line of five, I'm choosing one of the older decks in my collection, since I'm keeping with the old school theme, right? And so that deck is the Mystical Lenormand. It is by Regula Elizabeth Feichter. The artwork is by Urban Troush, and it is published by AGM. So now that I've set things up, Let's get to the table and see what the mystical Lenormand has to say through the line of five reading about the week ahead. And here we are with the cards on the table, and I'm going to take a few moments to shuffle the cards. And as I do, I'm focusing on my usual intention for these weekly general readings. And that is, I'm asking for the cards for the insight the information, the guidance, and the advice that will be most helpful and beneficial as we move through the experiences of the upcoming week. One more time will be good. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut the cards. Fan them out. And now I'm looking for five cards in the fan that are getting my attention. One, two, first three right off the bat. Now we're looking for card four, which is here, and card five, which is over here. These are my five cards. Now I'm going to take the remainder of the deck up, and I'll put that to one side. These are the five cards. All right, when I do a line of five, what I usually do is I start with the middle card. For me, the middle card always represents the central issue or something that we're being asked to focus on for the week ahead. And taking a look at the card we have. Okay, so here we have the mountain card. So mountain is the card that talks about challenges, blocks, and obstacles. So this is a week where we're going to be focusing on moving through whatever we each experience as a possible block, challenge, or obstacle. For me, this card can also represent some sort of setback, some sort of delay, or something being postponed. So those might be aspects of the challenge, the block, or the obstacle, right? There may be some sort of setback, delay, or something being postponed, right? For me, sometimes this card can come up when one of the obstacles I have to work through or overcome, right? A mountain represents something that is not uh, insurmountable. It would just take some time and effort to overcome it. But for me, personally, one of my uh, blocks is procrastination. So sometimes this card for me can turn up when there is something that I'm putting off or something that I'm... Um, creating some procrastination around. So since I'm saying that, there may be uh, some other people who, who that resonates with. So asking yourself, what is it that you have been procrastinating on or putting off? Because this could be the week where uh, you want to work on overcoming that. You know, you may have gotten to a place or a point where you put it off for as long as you can, right? An older meaning of this card is enemy. So sometimes this could be like what blocks 
what challenges, what obstacles have become quote unquote enemies for you because it might be a matter of you moving through them, right? And Lenormand being what it is, it can be very literal. So sometimes it can represent, you know, the mountains itself. So somebody may be focusing on doing something in the mountains or some other remote or distant location because for me, mountain can represent something distant and something remote as well as the actual aspects of the mountains. And as I'm talking about that in the literal sense, maybe in the, in the more metaphorical sense, is that what are the mountains in your life that you have to work on climbing, overcoming, you know, getting to the top of, right? Because a mountain has a peak or a top, right? So this could just be either in the literal sense in terms of mountains or in the more metaphorical sense, working on overcoming our own mountains, right? So that is the center card. Now, of course, with Lenormand being what it is, it's a system that is works with combinations and pairings of other cards. So while this is the focus, the outer cards are going to tell us more about the central issue, right? So starting with the card on the immediate left of mountain, we have here, okay. So here we have mice on the immediate left. So mice is a card that can represent loss. It could represent stress. It could represent worry, right? It could represent something that's been eating away or gnawing at you. So if we go with the idea that the center card is mountain talking about blocks, challenges, obstacles, then the pairing here of mice and mountain could be read as stress and worry about a challenge or that stress has become a challenge, right? So this is stress and worry about a challenge, about a block, about an obstacle, you know, to the point where you're letting it eat away at you, gnaw at you, that kind of thing, right? Uh, mice can also be, I'm getting the idea here for me, mice can represent um, something that is a nuisance, something that is bothersome, right? So it could be, I'm getting the idea in my head about the phrase about, you know, being mindful this week about not making mountains out of molehills, meaning that we're not taking something small and maybe something that's a minor irritation or annoyance, mice, and making it something bigger than it needs to be right? Mountain, right? So maybe for some of us, if we're talking about our own blocks, challenges, obstacles, maybe this would be the week to focus on, you know, the idea of not letting something minor become something bigger than it really needs to be, right? So um, I'm seeing that, but this is a week where we're focusing on maybe stress and worry about any possible blocks or challenges or that you know maybe if we go with the idea that the mountain can talk about procrastination maybe this is saying too like we have now gotten to a place where we're now stressed about it because we put it off for long enough now we're stressed about it worried about it and it's eating away or gnawing away at us right so that is how i would look at mice so let's look at the other side of mountain to see more about maybe the, ah, okay. So here we have maybe what the particular challenge is. For some of us, it may be financial because the fish is a card that could represent money and finances and abundance, right? So if we pair the cards that are right on the outside of mountain, here we have mice and fish, here we have loss of a financial nature so this could be read as a financial loss because the way i read the cards is that the first card here is the subject and this is the modification of the subject which means that this could be describing it like an adjective right so this would be the noun adjective so here we have loss what kind of loss financial right worries stress what kind of worries and stress financial in nature right so there is that now if we're talking about a loss of some kind then this could be uh, something that we need to reduce. And this could be for some people, fish would be all sorts of liquids because the fish are in water. So for somebody, there may be a challenge where you need to work on reducing something having to do with some kind of beverage, perhaps alcohol, 
So maybe somebody is working on uh, reducing their alcohol intake, something of that nature, right? Or that the stress and worry is deepening, right? If we go with the idea that fish can also represent something that is um, deep or has some depth to it, then it could just be that the stress and worry is now deepening, right? And then that would make sense if we go with the idea that mountain is in between them, right? So this idea that maybe something that was small has now gotten bigger, and as a result of that, the stress and worry about it has deepened, right? So I'm seeing this. So for some of us, we may be focusing on blocks, challenges, obstacles around money, right? And it's inducing stress and worry. So that's how I look at those cards. So now let's take a look at the cards that are on the outer edges of the line. So starting with the card on the far left, we have, and here we have lilies. So lilies for me is a card that can represent a couple of things. So first, it could represent wisdom and experience. I look at this as a maturity card, right? So it could mean that. It could also represent peace, harmony, and tranquility. It could also represent something from the past, because I, I tend to look at lilies as something being old. And with that, it could represent uh, an elderly person or an elder. And so here's what I'm seeing. The idea where I talked with Mountain about procrastination and putting something off, then what I'm seeing here with this card is about something from the past or something old. has become this. So if we go with the idea that lilies can represent peace and harmony, peace and harmony is being lost, or peace and harmony has now become stress and worry. Right? In this particular case, if this is peace and harmony, then mice is eating away at this. So this could be something that's being ruined, or on a gradual decline, or something of that nature. Right? So if we could go with this idea that this is peace, harmony, and tranquility. It has now become stressful, right? Or if we go with what we've talked about before, if we talk about mountain being about a block, a challenge, or an obstacle, and fish and mice being about financial loss and uh, or financial worries, then this card would be saying too that it may have been a past issue, something from the past. And now we maybe we have to work on resolving it now. So I'm seeing this as peace and harmony, tranquility is lost. Or peace, harmony, tranquility has become stress and worry. or that there's some stress, worry about the past. right? And I will say this, for me, the Lily's card can represent a season, and the season would be winter. So it could just be saying too, like if we're talking about something from the past, and this could be something from the winter months. So for me, the winter months would be December, January, February, so maybe within that time frame, if that resonates. Could be talking about the, like the origin of that, um, when that actually started. So I'm seeing that as a possibility to contribute to the line. All right, so that is lilies. So now let's look, take a look at the final card in the line, and here we have garden. Okay, so garden is a card that can represent the public, it could represent something social, it could represent a group, a community, it could represent other people. So here at the end of the line it would suggest that there may be more than one person involved in this situation, right? Because again, this card can represent a group, or a community, or other people, so there's other people possibly involved in this situation. 
Now, I talked earlier about the possibility of a setback or a delay or something being postponed. When I get these two cards, Mountain and Garden, in the same line, this pairing can talk about the postponement of an actual event. This would be a social event, a public event, something at a, a public gathering space, a public venue. So there may be something here about the postponement of a particular event, social event, community event, public event. And with that, if we go with the idea that we have stress and worry about that, and we have stress and worry maybe about the money with that, and here we have the situation maybe where there's going to be some sort of financial loss attached to the delay, the setback, or the postponement. So maybe somebody could be losing out on, you know, maybe a deposit. I'm seeing in my head like maybe a deposit, uh, you know, that's non-refundable kind of thing. So I'm seeing that as a possibility, right? And it could just also be too stress and worry around someone's finances with regard to a group, a community, what's coming to me is a party. And then with this card, now I'm seeing something that may be possibly different. Here with lilies, lilies can represent, like I talked about, a senior or an elder. So this could be an elder or a senior person in a party or a community or a group. And there's going to be some sort of financial uh, worries or concerns that are going to be some sort of block, challenge, or obstacle for this particular person, right? So it's making me feel like this would be the head, Lilies, somebody who holds a senior position within a group, a community, or a party. And there may be something having to do with finances that's going to play a part in whatever the challenge is with Mountain, right? So I'm seeing that. Now, again, for some people, it could just be the matter of a social event, something that was in the planning stage is being postponed, or there's going to be some sort of setback and delay, and there may be a financial piece in that. In another larger sense, if I go with the idea that this could represent society, you know, society at large, then there may be a group, community, or um, other people where the head of that particular group or somebody who is a senior member of that group is going to be faced with some sort of financial challenge that is going to be putting some stress on not only the individual but maybe other members of that group or community. All right, so that is how I'm looking at the line. And on that note, I will go ahead and end this week's Oracle Outlook. I'm James Him Mitchell, and as I close, I'd like to thank you for sharing space here with me for this week's reading, and I look forward to sharing the same space with you again in our next video reading together. So until then, I'm hoping that you have a wonderful day, and I'm hoping that you have a wonderful week. Take care.